guys welcome to my channel my name is Shanike and today we're going to be organizing my small kitchen before we get started please remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel let's get into it before we get started I'm just going to um, show you guys all the supplies that I have so these are all washed and ready to go so the first area that I'm going to organize is under the sink this is a total disaster everything is all over the place nothing is accessible so i definitely want to transform this space the first thing that i'm going to do is clear out all of the items from underneath the sink i do like um, to work with a blank slate whenever i'm organizing just so i can see what i'm working with after that i'm just going to give it a wipe down with my microfiber cloth and my surface cleaner. And then we'll get started with the organization. So I'm just using these baskets that I got from Dollarama to store all my cleaning supplies. If you want to see all the products that I use in this organization, please check out my previous video where I did a haul on everything that I got. So I'm just going to put my microfiber cloth um, in the bottom layer and I will put the cleaning um, products on top. So I'm just going to continue to organize my other items um, in this cabinet. So my garbage bags, my dishwashing liquid. I'm also going to be folding some of my shopping bags and stuff in there as well. Where do you guys usually store your shopping bags? I do have a lot of shopping bags. I do put some underneath my sink. And I also have some in the in my coat closet as well. So those ones I can just grab when I go shopping and as you can see I do do um, a lot of switching up when I'm organizing I mean um, you don't always get it right the first time so it's okay to move things around just to see what looks best and what works best here's an overview of what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after so everything is organized and accessible. My cleaning agents and my dishwasher pods are right there for me to grab and my sponges and my cleaning cloth. I love this transformation. We are now going to move on to this hot mess of a drawer. So I have my spices thrown in there and my utensils as well. I'm going to start by clearing out everything from this drawer. Now that it's all cleaned out, I'm just going to start putting in my organizers and my utensils. Some of the organizers I had before and some, some of them I recently bought. You can check out my previous video, I will leave the link in the description below um, where I show you everything that I use in this video. I also decided that I'm not going to put the spices back into this drawer, I'm just going to use it for utensils because previously everything was so packed together it was so difficult for me to see anything and for me to find anything without making a mess so this is just strictly for my utensils and like my measuring cups let's take a look of what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after i must say i'm very pleased it looks really nice I don't have to fight with spices to grab a spoon or a fork anymore. I love it. The next area that I'm going to tackle is my pantry cabinet. 
Just like everything else that I've done so far, I'm going to start by clearing everything out of the cabinet and wiping it down. And everything is out, I'm just going to go through and throw out all my expired items and the items that I don't use anymore. The next thing that I'm going to do is fill these clear Dollarama containers. I've decided not to label them because I can clearly see um, exactly what's, what's in there. So I don't think I need to label them. But you could label them if that's something that you'd like to do. But what I do suggest, um, well especially in my case, is cutting out like the the cooking instructions for each pasta because each of them have like different cook times and I can never remember what cook time is for is for which pasta so that's something that I definitely need to get around to doing because I totally forgot to do it when I was when I was filling these containers I'm now just going to group similar items together and place them in this in these baskets that I have as you can see, there is a lot of trial and error and moving around that is totally okay as I said before. You're just never going to get it right the first time. So play around with what you have, see where it fits and then find something that works for you. And now it's time for the fun part. So I'm just packing by, uh, packing everything in. This is literally the only area, the only space that I have for my food. So I have to be very smart in how I organize it because I don't have any, any other space in my kitchen. The struggles of a small kitchen. And now I'm just going to do this little hack that I've seen on Pinterest, TikTok, other YouTube videos. So I'm just going to use some command strips and then I will attach that, I think that's a magazine holder um, to it. I, th I would suggest getting the plastic one because it's lighter but that's the only one that they had um, at Dollarama when I went um, shopping for it. Even though the plastic one would be lighter, this one does the trick as well. I don't really have any problems with it. So I'm going to use this little mechanism to store my parchment paper, my fall paper, and this cheesecloth that I have. I'm also going to use it for Ziploc bags. And now it's time for the satisfy before and after shot. It's definitely such a big difference. I can see everything I have, everything is neat and organized. So I'll know um, when I have things, when things are going bad, um, so I can actually use them instead of having them there. I am going to move on to my spice draw. So I'm just basically going to use the draw that's in the side of my stove. So I'll just clear everything out and give it a nice wipe down so it's nice and ready to go for my spices. The next thing that I'm going to do is make a spice rack from contact board that I got from the Dollarama for like a dollar twenty-five. I will put all the instructions on the screen because I didn't get enough footage for a tutorial but I'll make one on TikTok. I'm just going to start filling these spice jars that I got from Amazon with my spices. 
if you want to see more information on everything that I used in this video, please check out my previous video where I showed all the items that I bought. And as for labels, I'm just going to be using those chalk labels that came with the spice jars. I might update them eventually to printed labels, but those are what I'm going to be using for now. So all my jars are filled and they are looking beautiful. Now I'm just going to start arranging them in the jar. So I'm just going to organize them based on how often I use them as well as type. So in the first row I have like onion powder, garlic powder, um, garlic salt. In the second row I have like my pasta stuff and then in the third I have like my Jamaican seasoning and the last one I have like my miscellaneous spices. And this is what my spices looked like before, and um, that was the jaw before as well. And now this is what they look like after. It is definitely a trans a transformation. It's giving Pinterest kitchen, and I love it. And now we are going to move on to my tea jaw. I'm extremely excited about this as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear out everything and give it a wipe down and now i'm just going to arrange my containers in the drawer so i'm using those um, three different small acrylic containers that i got from dalarama and then i'm going to start filling them with my teas And this is what it looked like before total mess and this is what it looks like after I even saw some tea that I didn't even remember that I had so I'm totally love this loving this one as well now I'm going to be moving on to that little cupboard in the corner so I'm going to transfer that into my appliances covered so i'm just going to remove everything and clean it down like i've been doing and then i'll arrange it and this is the finished look this is what it looks like um, i don't have a lot of appliances so i guess this small space works for me and now we're on to another small cupboard um, where i'm going to put like my baking sheet my cutting board and my pots and pans this is like it's a disaster it's so hard to find anything you have to take out the whole thing to get one pot so i'm going to just um take everything out and clean it down and then i'll get started on arranging everything in the best i can
and this is the finished look I can easily grab everything I don't have to take out the whole thing if I need to grab something and then as for the covers I'm just storing them along with my baking pans inside of my oven I'm now going to move on to organizing my cups and my plates I am going to start by clearing out um, the cabinet and wiping it down as I've been doing throughout the video as you guys can see I do not have a lot of cups and plates or pots or anything like that I I just have what I need that is a tip as well if you do have a small kitchen it's good um, just to, to have what you need so that you don't take up too much space so that's that's basically how I'm functioning at the moment And this is what it looked like before and then this is what it looks like after as you can see there's a lot more space so I, I might buy some more some more glasses to fill it up now I'm just going to organize the cabinet over the fridge so at the moment I'm not using it because it's so high so I'm just going to put the things that I don't really need to access all the time like my containers and like um, the spice overstock so those items that I don't need so I'm just going to pack those over the fridge since it's it's empty and this is what it looks like now so I can just grab those things that I don't use often whenever I need them from this it looks so much better and now I'm just going to clear out all of my other spices and my sauces from um, the cabinet so that cabinet I'm going to um, use to store my baby's bottles all my baby's um, supplies and I'm just going to put them on these uh, the lazy Susan so it's basically a double tier lazy Susan so the other one side has the spinning mechanism and the other side doesn't so the other the one without I'm just going to put the things that I use less and then the ones that I use most I'm going to put them on the on the turntable with the with the mechanism so I'm just going to clear out um, that cabinet over the stove. As you can see, I, I haven't been using that one as well. And I'm going to put those in that cabinet so I can just grab those when I'm cooking. And then I'm just going to pack my other items that can fit on the turntables at the front. And also my overstock salt and pepper since I use those a lot. And this is the finished look. So all my, um, my other seasonings as well as my sauces, um, they're easily accessible now so I don't have to take out everything just to find one thing. And this is how I organized my baby's items. So on the top shelf I just have his formula and then below that I have like his pacifiers and then his bottle accessories and then at the bottom I have like his bottles and his dishes. The next thing that I'm going to organize is the countertops that's right by the stove. So I'm going to start by filling all the containers that I'm going to use for the countertops. So I'm just basically going to be putting like my salt and my pepper, my coffee and my sugar. So these are things that I use often so I'm definitely going to put them on top of the counter so I can just grab them. I did get these con um, containers from Dollarama that I'm using because they, they look really nice since they're going to be on display. This is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after so I just have my salt my pepper and my spoon rest right to my next to my stove and then I also have my sugar and my coffee 
on the counter where I can just grab and everything looks so nice. The next countertop area that's always cluttered that I'm going to tackle is the sink. So I'm just going to try clearing up some of these items off the sink just so it looks more, uh, more organized and more aesthetically pleasing. The first thing that I'm going to do is um, put the baby's brushes that I use in this container that I got from Dollar uh, Dollarama and I'm going to just put that over the door since as it's an over the door container and then the next thing that I'm going to do is try and fix like my dishwashing liquid um, situation it's not looking very nice at the moment so I'm just going to use these glass bottles that I got from Amazon and I'm going to put my my surface cleaner and my dishwashing liquid in those bottles and one thing I do realize is that an organized countertop is crucial for like a clutter-free a neat kitchen so that's something that you need to consider when you're organizing your kitchen as well and here's an overview of what it looked like before and this is what it looks like after this is so satisfying I love it and as you can see I also added uh, a little um, holder for my sponges and my cleaning cloth as well and then this is like an overview of the counter it looks so much better I love it so much I hope you guys found some motivation from this video and I hope you guys found some ideas on how to organize your space if you'd like to know more about the items that I use you can check out my previous video where I did a haul and if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond to your question thank you so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel I'll see you in the next video. Bye!